Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science channel. Now let's solve another exercise in solution step by step. Replace the distributed loading with an equivalent resultant force and specify its location on the beam measured from point A. So here we have a distributed loading, then I'm gonna divide in three areas. So here I'm gonna call this part B prime. So I have region number one. Here it's our region number two. That's another triangle. And our region number three is our rectangle here. Now we're gonna find the areas under the curve for our respectively points. So here I have A, B, and B prime. I know my height is eight kilonewtons meter and my point A is zero. So here my area one that I'm gonna call our load one is equal our base that's three times our height that's eight over two that's the area of the triangle so our load one is equal 12 kilo newtons now since it's a triangle i know my centroid in x is one third from the height so here i have one third over l and here i have two thirds over l so measure from a our x bar one is equal to l over three so my x one is equal two times three over three so my x one is equal two meters measuring from point a now we're going to find our not another triangle here the area number two so i know here is eight kilonewtons per meter and here is ending in four kilonewtons per meter as well so here my area 2 is p2 is equal my base is 3 so 3 times my height is 8 minus 4 over 2 so my p2 is equal 3 times 4 over 2 the total load that i have is equal 6 kilonewtons now to find our x bar 2 we know is one third measuring from the height so my x bar number 2 is equal 3 times l oh sorry so is one third times l so our x bar number two is equal one meter measuring from b so here i'm gonna put a b to remind you guys that's measuring from b and finally our third area is our rectangle that has a base three and my height four kilonewtons per meter so my load three is p three is equal four times three so p3 is equal 12 kilonewtons our x3 x bar 3 is l over 2 so our x3 is equal 1.5 measuring from b as well now we're going to position our loads so here i have my p1 measuring from a so this distance is equal 
two meters, our equivalent load is equal to 12 kilonewtons. Our second load is one third, so it's here. Our second load is six kilonewtons, and my distance is one meter from B. And here I have another 12 kilonewtons. That's my load three measured from B. That's equal 1.5 meters. So now we can find the resultant load. So I know the sum of the forces is equal P1 plus P2 plus P3. So the sum of the forces is equal 12 plus 6 plus 12. So the sum of the forces is equal 30 kilo newtons. Now we're going to find the moments of each force thus about point A. So the sum of the moments about point A is equal. So I have P1 times X1 bar, that's 2, plus P2 times 3 plus X2 bar, plus P3 times 3 plus X3 bar. So the sum of the moments about A is equal 12 times 2 plus 6 times 4 plus 12 times 4.5. So the sum of moments about A is equal 102 kilonewtons meter. Now, to find our position, our x bar, the equation is the sum of the moments produced about point A is equal the sum of the forces that we have in our equivalent load times our distance that I'm going to call x bar. So, x bar is equal sum of the moments about A divided by the sum of loads, that's P. So our X bar is equal 102 divided by 30. So our X bar is equal 3.4 meters. So our answer, they are all of them here, 30 kilonewtons, 100 in 2 kilonewtons meter and 3.4 meters. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share to your classmates. Thank you.